Good morning, it's Monday the 29th of June. I hope you're all well. Been a bit of a wet weekend, but we're all together again. So, may the Lord be with you. We meet as always in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Today, we're going to be looking at a story that comes from Genesis, which is the very first book of the Bible, and it's chapter 22. This is a story that's familiar to people who are Christian, Jewish, and Muslim. Isn't that great that we all share and enjoy the same stories? This is the story of Abraham and his second son, Isaac. Now, Abraham and his wife, Sarah, waited a long time for Isaac to arrive. They never thought they were going to have a baby, a second son. And when he arrived, oh, they were so delighted. Sarah, his mother, was so precious about him that she made his older brother leave the house. Hmm, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Can you imagine then how Abraham and Sarah felt when God asked Abraham to do something that actually was really quite scary and a bit puzzling? But don't worry, it all turns out well in the end and Isaac is safe and well. You might not think it as I tell you the story, but just remember, don't worry, Isaac was always safe and always well. I think God was testing Abraham. Let's see what happens. Abraham had two sons. Isaac was his second son and very precious. One day, a terrible thing happened. To understand how terrible it was, we need to know that one of the ways in which the ancient people worshipped God was to offer sacrifices. Okay, mm, it's not something we do now, but that's what happened then. So they would take something very precious to them and offer it in worship to God. Now for the farmers, for those people, farmers and shepherds, as they were, their most precious things were, at, were their animals. So sometimes they would take an animal, a very good one animal, one of their best, and would kill it, as you would do for food. And they would offer it to God by burning it, well, cooking it really, on a holy table or an altar. The terrible thing that God asked Abraham he should do, would he take his most precious and very best thing, his long-awaited beautiful son Isaac, and offer him on an altar as a sacrifice, far away in the mountains? Can you imagine the horror and the fear and the anguish that Abraham must have felt? However, Abraham trusted God and knew that God had something planned for him and for Isaac. The story tells us that Abraham set off with Isaac towards the mountain, carrying everything that was needed to make a sacrifice. The storyteller doesn't actually tell us what Isaac was thinking, but I think you could imagine. When he reached the place, Abraham prepared to make the sacrifice. But just as he was getting ready, an angel appeared and stopped him. Abraham, do not kill the child. Now I know you love God so much that you would offer even your own son to show your love. See behind you, there is a ram caught in the bush. Use that as a sacrifice instead. Whew. So as I said at the beginning, Isaac was kept safe after all and returned with Abraham to his mother Sarah. Wow, it's quite a scary story, wasn't it? Could you imagine the fear? Abraham felt, and Isaac. It's a good job today God doesn't ask us to think, do things quite as dramatic as that, but he does ask us to make sacrifices. Sometimes those sacrifices could be our time to go and help others, to deliver food, to make little stones and sell them, like a lot of you have done, to make money for the NHS, to help deliver food parcels. That's all giving up your time. And that's one of the most important things we can do, is give God our time. Give God our time in the actions that we do, the things that we do. And give God our time in prayer and moments of quietness and stillness. It's not always easy to do any of those things, especially when we're so busy and the weather's nice and we might want to play out. We just... What I want you to do this week is just stop 
for a minute. Give God a moment of your time. A moment when you might thank God for all the fantastic things that you've been doing in recent months. For your family, for your teachers, for the NHS, for everybody. Maybe you could give up your time by helping someone. Please don't forget, if you want to do things like this, ask your grown-up to help you. Please don't go off delivering food by yourself. It's not the right time to do that. And you do need to keep safe. Just as Isaac eventually was kept safe. I wonder what we would have done if we'd have been asked to do something so scary. I don't think I could have done what Abraham was asked to do. It's a puzzle really, isn't it? Some of those stories in the Old Testament mm, can be quite puzzling to us in today, today's society. But don't worry, it's all about the messages. Remember, today's lesson was all about sacrifice. Give your time. Give of yourself by your actions and your prayers. Let's put our hands together. Dear God, be with those who face danger, who face big challenges or terrible puzzles. May those who don't know where to turn to feel that you are close to them when they need your comfort. As always, Lord, we pray for the NHS workers, the doctors, the nurses, the cleaners, the caretakers, all those who look after everybody in hospitals and care homes, for our families who've been looking after us, for our loved ones who may not be close, for our teachers and all those at school, and they're making it such a safe place to be, and for our grown-ups at home who are helping us learn and keeping us safe. We ask that we will meet soon. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, challenge this week. Challenge last week was to make some rainbows. I've not had any. Can you please send me some? Rainbows of hope. Wishes. Some of the children who've been in year one have made some for me. And they're great. And they're in my office window. I would love lots more. I'd love to be able to not see out of the window, actually, for rainbows. Please send them. Challenge this week. Sacrifice. Do it by giving up some of your time or some of your things. Time is a really good thing you can do. Help someone. Say a prayer. Spend a moment in stillness. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you again on Friday. Take care and have a great week. Bye now.